Australia, the state of South Australia and South Australia's capital city, Adelaide. Adelaide is a city set between bushland hills and sparkling blue water. In Adelaide we have a superb climate and a wonderful lifestyle. It's a city of a million people and like every other city in the world of its size or bigger, Adelaide needs an efficient passenger transport system. Also, like almost every other city in the world of its size or bigger, Adelaide is more than 150 years old, designed and built in the horse and buggy days and for a tenth today's population. Wonderful for its day, but in this day and age, as we know only too well, old city designs are becoming unworkable, unable to cope with increased populations and increased passenger movement. And yet, in the last 50 years, there's been only one new invention which makes the business of moving people around a city easier, faster and more efficient. And this is it. The Adelaide O-Barn. The Adelaide O-Barn. An important part of the city's integrated passenger transport system. Linking with trams, with trains and with other buses even with this tourist attraction and what's vitally important compared with equivalent rail systems the Adelaide O-Barn has proved to be cheaper almost 50 percent cheaper to operate it gives a faster service and it's infinitely more flexible than equivalent rail systems what's more the Adelaide O-Barn has the ability to transport 18,000 people per hour in each direction in Adelaide, an example of the concept is this. A bus travels around the city, picking up passengers. Just out of the city, it enters a special busway, a guided track. And in Adelaide, with 12 kilometres of track, it's not only the longest commuter bus system in the world, it's also the fastest, with buses travelling at speeds up to 100 kilometres an hour. And yet, it's probably also the safest. Here's how it works. Precast concrete sleepers are laid down and on the sleepers is laid precast concrete track which looks like this. The corridor is much narrower than rail. In fact, it only needs to be a hundred millimeters wider than the bus itself. You can imagine the savings in making tunnels or bridges or earthworks or where corridor space is limited. The savings would be considerable. There are places at each end of the track where the drivers can enter and exit. And along the track there are what we call interchanges, bus stops with large car parks, so people can drive to their nearest interchange, park all day and catch the O-Bahn into the city, which cuts down their travel time, it reduces city traffic by hundreds of cars a day, passengers can save on expensive city car parking and they alight from the bus close to their work. And as you can see, it's an amazingly flexible system. So the finished busway looks like this. The buses are fitted with guide wheels, side rollers like these. The drivers drive onto the busway so the rollers fit neatly, and then away they go. The driver lets the wheels guide the bus so he or she can focus entirely on what's ahead, making the chance of an accident almost impossible. And if there's something wrong up ahead, the lighter buses and the efficient air brakes can stop the bus quickly, smoothly and in a straight line. In fact, from 100 kilometres an hour to a complete stop in less than two bus lengths which means that at peak times it's perfectly safe to schedule buses to run at 20 second intervals. Look what happens when there are bricks on the guideway and the bus hits them at 100 kilometres an hour. Nothing. The guide wheels keep the bus perfectly on the tracks. If a guide wheel is broken, the bus will stay on course. If there's a flat tyre, the guide wheels keep it on track. This must be the safest passenger transport system in the world. But 
If, for some reason, a bus does break down completely, we have special double-ended recovery vehicles that can push or pull in either direction. If there's some kind of blockage on the track that could take some hours to remove, trains would have to stop. But O-Bahn buses simply drive off the busway at the next interchange and take an alternative route. That's flexibility. Where would you position your bus stops along the track or your large interchanges? You simply design them in where they'll do the best job. In fact, you could design in places where buses could actually drive off the busway as part of a schedule to become like a normal bus, driving around the local streets, then back on again at another place. It's almost a door-to-door -door service. Currently, 80% of people board or alight from the buses in suburban streets. It works superbly. Then the bus turns around and enters the busway again for the return trip to the city. Imagine the flexibility you'll have. No rails to tie the vehicle to tracks. Too accessible to vandals. The Oban is as flexible as you want it to be. No ugly wires overhead or dangerous power from below. Both very expensive to maintain and too accessible to vandals. No expensive power to be installed along the route. Oban buses are self-sufficient. Little or no pollution. And they're virtually silent. Oban buses can be environmentally friendly in every way. An Oban is cost effective to install. A fraction the cost of rail. Compared with rail, it needs less signalling. And buses can work more closely, making rush hour travel management that much more efficient. And it's also simple and cost effective to maintain. Again, a fraction the cost of rail. An O-Bahn system offers all the benefits of light rail with all the benefits of comfortable air-conditioned bus travel. It can give every city the passenger transport flexibility it needs. It can speed people to and from a city centre without a change of vehicles, unlike rail, where people need to change from feeder bus to train, and it lets them alight at the usual bus stops. For proof that it works well, the Oban is the only form of transport in the entire Adelaide bus, tram, train, Oban network that has increased its patronage every year since it commenced operation. Every year, more and more Adelaide people are discovering how fast the Oban is, how comfortable, and how much more efficient. And the Oban is fun. It's a tourist draw card. Transportation professionals and enthusiasts come to Adelaide from all over the world to ride on it, to experience it. The Oban was invented in Germany and is now patented by Daimler-Benz and Ed Zublin, who set up smaller and slower Oban systems in Essen and Mannheim. In Adelaide in the early 1980s, we heard about the concept and system, realised it would be suitable for us, sent designers and engineers to Germany to learn the system, and with the help of the Zublin people, by 1986, we'd solved the problems of track over poor soil, and of temperature extremes, we'd installed the track and had buses up and running. The total cost, including the landscaping, bridges, interchanges, and the bus fleet, and a double track, just $98 million Australian, less than 44 million pounds sterling, less than $72 million US, only $8 million a kilometre, more than competitive with any form of rail. In addition, what was a rather unattractive riverbed is now a magnificent linear park. Our Oban has given us many environmental advantages too. If you're now considering an Oban for your city, we can offer you expert assistance because we've developed a group of specialists who can offer you exactly what you may need. For example, we can design the system to suit your city, manage the entire installation of your busway, 
fit out the buses, train your drivers to use the buses, and train your engineers to maintain both the buses and the busway. We can help you amend your current system to include your new Oban system, even to working out new timetables. And we can help you market your Oban to sell the benefits to your current passengers and to prospective passengers to make a success of it. It appears that the Adelaide people are the only people in the world with the experience and with the up-to-date expertise able to do all these things for you. Recently we've been hosting interested transport authority people from Singapore and Thailand, from Peru and New Zealand, from the United States and Belgium, and especially from Korea, Japan and China. All of them have been impressed. With our unique expertise, we know we can solve many of their passenger transport problems. And we know that, from Adelaide, we can help you to solve yours. Talk with us. Better still, come to Adelaide and experience our Adelaide O-Bahn for yourself.